And meanwhile, in case you weren't able to watch us yesterday, happy belated John Conchar Day, yes. ladies and gentlemen. Hope you were able to celebrate accordingly, and by celebrate accordingly, <laughs> of course, I mean I hope your level of jitty was through the roof on Thursday. I still don't know what that means. Me either. But, uh, but he does, and... Uh, you know, here's what we do know. Yesterday, Mayor Tom Henry proclaimed March 28th, 2019 as John Conchar Day in Fort Wayne. The city recognizing the former Purdue Fort Wayne star for his outstanding college career. Conchar leaves as the program's all-time leading scorer and rebounder. And with all of that now in the rear view, the stat, this stat sheet stuffer has turned his attention towards getting ready for the NBA draft. According to ESPN, Conchar currently projected to go 58th overall to the Golden State Warriors. And we began the basketball portion of our conversation with him yesterday on that very note. Uh, I mean, it's an awesome. It's, it's really awesome, but I mean, it's just a mock draft. I still have to go through the whole entire process. Like, it, honestly, like, I mean, it's meaningful to me in a way, but it's not because it's not the actual draft, I guess. But I mean, it's cool that my name's out there and that they're looking at me and all that. But I still have to work hard and do do all, do all the little things to get there. I mean, you saw that though. I mean, like, did you think for it, stop and think for a second? Like, dang, playing with Steph Curry, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, of course. Like, who wouldn't want to play with Steph? But yeah, I mean, wherever I end up at, if it's NBA, G League, overseas, I'm going to enjoy the process no matter what happens. When is uh, Portsmouth? And I guess uh, what's kind of your preparation like as you get ready to try to showcase your talents there and, and showcase your talents throughout the next couple months to get ready for the draft? Um, so I've just kind of been working out here right now. Uh, Portsmouth is April 17th, I think. And I think I fly out the 16th, or, I want to say. But yeah, I, I'm just working out here right now. Still trying to find an agent. Still working on that process. And I'm going to hopefully find one the next week. And yeah. What's, uh, I guess what's kind of your, your message when you finally are able to sit down with some NBA teams and uh, they're able to watch you play in like a workout setting? What will you tell them as far as, you know, what, what you feel like you can bring to an NBA franchise? Um, I can bring a lot, in my opinion. Uh, well, I'm 23 years old. I feel like I'm incredibly mature. Um, I, like, I have no off-the-court problems. I, uh, I just want to play a huge role or just a role in any sort. Like if you need me to make threes, I'll make threes. If you want me to play defense, that's I'll play defense. I can, like, I, my role has changed a lot when I was here. Like, my last two years I was point guard. Like, first year I was a three, the second year I was a four. So I can, I just want to see some court time and try to make it worthwhile. Well, I, I ask them what they're looking for, and, and some of them are, you know, saying, you know, shooting, passing, rebounding, and I say, well, John Conchar's your guy. Um, you know, he's an easy sell because he, he does it all. And, you know, he's, uh, He's very likable. He fits into a team environment well. Um, I mean, he's incredibly unselfish and and, and, and and also versatile. So, I mean, I've been very, very positive. And then, you know, when you look at what he's done against, you know, the, the, the Power Five teams, is literally he's, he's put his averages out there. So I, I don't think, you know, that there's a level he can't have production at. And now it's kind of a, a matchmaking game of, of, of who does it fit with. I know it's just a mind draft but have you thought at all about what John Conchar would look look like side by side in the backcourt with Steph Curry yeah, well, it's my it's my son's favorite team. So uh, you know, uh, he I came home with it printed off. Um, I think Coach Sims had seen it, and, and I brought it home. And my ten year old had already seen it on his iPad. So I got to make sure he's he's doing his work at school and he's not checking on <laughs> mock drafts for John. Hey, hey, pay attention in class, Tommy. Yeah, thanks. stay off that iPad. Thanks, Coach and John, for catching up with us.